<laughs> All right, good job, Pigeon. So you may have noticed if you're using an iPhone 7 Plus, 8 Plus, or an iPhone 10, that in addition to the standard photo mode, you have a portrait mode. And I've been using that portrait mode here to photograph Pigeon, who you just saw, a beautiful dog who actually has more followers on Instagram than I do. Now, in the normal photo mode, you're going to have lots of depth of field. And what that means is that everything from the foreground to way off in the distance is going to be in focus. That can be great for a landscape, but if you're photographing a person or an animal, it can be a lot more interesting, a lot more flattering, a lot more beautiful to use that portrait mode, which will use a little bit of camera magic to make the background out of focus for you. And so you'll see that on the camera, we can go from photo mode to portrait mode. And once we go to portrait mode, you'll see that there's a natural light option. But if you tap, you can scroll through the various other options that are available. These are different lighting styles, essentially. They're special effects. Don't worry if you can't choose which option you want to use during the capture, because you can actually change those effects after the capture. So once you're in portrait mode, you'll need to get relatively close to your subject, generally within about eight feet, and then you can capture photos as you normally would. And you'll notice along the way that the background gets a nice blur to it. It really helps to highlight that foreground subject. So I've had a lot of fun photographing Pigeon here. I hope you have lots of fun using that portrait mode to get some great photos as well.